Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Y'all, I have been hard at work. This is probably the most off-camera work that I've done for any series since Ark. <laughs> Which has been quite a little while if you're uh, if you've been part of the channel for a long time At any rate guys, I did a bunch of stuff down here and we're gonna go ahead and take the minecart as you see My little area down here. I changed it up I removed it and we've got something going into the center and the whole idea that we had to make the bottom pretty is no longer valid due to the fact that we had so many problems um, once we got one monster invasion so without further ado let me show you the new and improved <laughs> setup. Look at this mess right here. Oh man. So I built most of this is made from obsidian, which is really, really resistant to damage. I put a bed and a lantern to make this a closed room and a door. And I've got the three cannons set up with pressure plates all along that. So I can just go and attack from any side that I want. Now, is this foolproof? No. Most of the time, all it does is weaken monsters until I can get to them. And they were still getting here. My old design was faulty because anytime a monster got too close and I used the cannon, it would actually use, uh, it would, the, I guess the blast radius would destroy the cannons and the obsidian. So to keep them away, I ended up making some trenches. Now, this is obsidian and it's too deep. So anytime a monster gets this far, they just fall in, except for scorpions, which I have to clear out like one more section of this. And the reason I have the corners all funky like this is so that I can jump in um, from the sides. Now, you might think, well, this is pretty good design. Well, it's still got some problems. Scorpions, like I said, the hitboxes are three. So they end up, um, well, the hitboxes are two. So they end up going over the two wide gaps. And it's kind of hard to get out, so I had to do a few things. It's also kind of hard to get in, so I ended up using some obsidian that I can get in for. So it does take a little bit to get in, but it's a defensive posture, and we're going to go with it. I kept a backup plan just in case something happened right here and I couldn't get back up to the top uh, without a chimera wing. I did leave this, which is... It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's a way up. So, at any rate, it's time to do the quest. Um, I, the, the problem is I don't have any more cannons, so that I'm going to have to make one more cannon to go, because, as you all know, cannons are very, very, very good to have. Um, Alright, so let's see here. We're going to go ahead and take the cart, and I'm going to make one more cannon to go, and that might be used to fight in the, new, in the next area here. Um... I think I have all the materials I need for it. I'm hoping at least. Let's see. I might need some more thermal batteries. Nope, I have enough. I have enough. So all we really need is one cannon to go, and that'll help weaken it and stuff. I did make a couple extra sledgehammers, a couple suits of armor, so we should be good to go. As far as the portal is concerned, I don't have it anymore down, so I'm going to put it in the portalarium. And I do have uh, an evil idol too that I can use for defense, but I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet, so uh, it should be fine right there. Alright, let's make... There we go. That should give us a couple hundred points there. We'll sleep. And I should take a bed with me. I don't. I no longer have a bed in my storage container, which by the way, I haven't done much maintenance on a... Um, on container management so please pardon the mess um, let's see I do believe nope I'm wrong I do not have a bed to take with me I do want to take it with me though so I'm gonna go ahead and make one straw mattress there we go and I'm just gonna take it with me um, I should just be good to go like that. All right, I'm not going to take anybody with me right now. I'm just going to... I'm going to avoid most of the monsters and just try to get um, down to the nitty-gritty here and try to uh, go for the quest. Okay, first things first. We are putting a red orb down right away in <laughs> the Navaglobe. All right, now let's get to it. We've got two quests that we can go. <gasps> you see that material over there? That's something that I totally did not notice before. What is that? Is that diamond? I think it's diamond or something 
I'm gonna go and get that one first. Hold on, let's get something that we can build with. Um, preferably something that I don't use anything for. Well, I mean, we have so much dirt already. Let's use sandstone. Sandstone is fine. All right. Let's get to an area that we can climb up easy. And I'm just gonna, let's see. Where is it? I can't really see here. Let me just pillar up some. There it is. Can I break it? I can. Mithril. Well, that is a sight for sore eyes. That is gonna lead to very, very, very good weapons and armor, I'm sure. Mithril's uh, an ancient metal, a mythical metal, and um, it's it's been featured as a, a legendary metal in so many fantasy novels and themes and stuff that I can't even tell you. Uh, some of my favorite books in the world, some of my favorite stories in the world, um, uh, which is called the Icewind Dale Trilogy, and um, it's it's featuring a character called Drizzt Duerden, which is a dark elf that gets outcast um, from his own people. Like, his people are evil and he's not. Anyway, um, the dwarves from a place where they're from, the Underdark, um, are really, really, really big into crafting mithril and stuff. Um, so it's, uh, well, not crafting, but forging weapons with mithril, like legendary weapons and stuff. All right, uh, we went way too far here. <laughs> like, way too far. Hold on. I'm take, I take half damage from all this, so... How about we just kind of go along the corners here? Could have possibly just gone... It would have been a lot easier if I would have just looked at where I was going. <laughs> Y'all know me though, I don't do things the easy way. Painfully obvious sometimes. Okay, sledgehammer fell apart. I knew that was gonna happen. That's all right, we got backups. We got backups. It's really hard working with obsidian, <laughs> but it's, uh, I think the reward, the payoff is, is where it's at, you know? All right, we're gonna get plenty of mithril here. Um, one more place down here. And I think one more big swipe ought to give me enough. All right, and I heard the monsters are after me now. I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't know what all this stuff is. Ooh. Heart fruit. I don't know what I would need it for right now, but... Oh, what kind of dry key is this? Sugar cane. We can make gingerbread now. That's neat. Oh my god. Hold on. Am I even using... <gasps> you know what? I forgot to make an iron sword. I was... My iron sword broke and I was using... Oh man. Alright. We're just gonna have to use the sledgehammer for everything. Look at this. They're so strong, these things. All right. We know how to fix that, don't we? Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. I really should have brought two cannons with me, but... Okay. Let's get the heck away from this. I said I was going to try to avoid monsters, and I didn't. And I wanted to go on top of there anyway. I'll tell you what. Let's take this route. And just grab a couple of the hard fruit along the way. More cane. Ooh, they shooting sparks. And more mithril. Get off of me! Alright. I think we're far enough to where we can... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Well, this is, this is gonna be bad, you guys. I can tell already. Okay. We do have one healing, one means of healing here. Let's just go for the quest. <laughs> Let's just go, oh look, there's plants, there's healing plants over there. <gasps> and what is that? Pray tale. Um, let's get these healing plants first. I'll use my stone sword. Kind of save some durability. I can craft on the go too, holy cow. Look what I brought with me. 
tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to juke these guys. Juked. <laughs> that was nothing. That was easy to juke them. All right. Oh, there is an evil idol in here. Uh, probably a boss too. Maybe not. Ah, I can't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, ouch. All right, you want to play like that? Huh? Whoa. For real? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I can't I can't break that. Well, that's a dang shame. Hold on. Nope. Definitely cannot. It would have broke that statue like that. Oh well. Uh, this ain't to go to right now, then. Ain't to go to right now. All right. And it's gonna be night before I know it too. Tell you what, I brought my bed. I don't have a source of light. But let me do this. Wait, where where do I go? The quest is still over here. All right. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's just. Let's just make a little makeshift room before it gets too dark. I should have a door and stuff in here. Yeah, I do have a door. Okay, let's put this up. Let's put this up. Let's grab a door. And I need a light source. I know I have a light source. Um, I hope I have a light source. Hold on. I can craft it if I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, my sconces and my fires and stuff. That'll work. Okay. And. Not enough space. Hold on. Alright, we should now build a room. Okay. <laughs> and now I'll put my little bed down. Hold on. I'll get it eventually. Do we have to put the bed in first? There we go. <laughs> We're in. Sleep. <laughs> that rocks, man. Talk about a way to camp out, huh? Ah. Alright. Let me just grab my stuff here. I'll just keep them on me for now. I could always put them up later. Okay. Let's head out. A lot of easy to get wood here too. Lots of it. I might as well get a little bit of it. At least a few saplings. Alright, I wonder... Oh, there's some ice things. This ain't good. See all that? I don't know if I could beat those things. The way that we've been handling monsters that that aren't uh, that aren't affected mithril could probably hurt them things all right there's some ice this is what I'm after right here can we hurt it nope sure can't and they have some wicked magic also some iron right here As long as I stay away from their spells, I should be okay. I don't know how much we need, so I'm just grabbing, guys. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, it says that I have enough. Well, it didn't say that I have enough. Look at this thing over here. What in the world? This is a very cool place. Very cool. <laughs> get it cool ice never mind can I get in here nope need keys first there is a chest and I'll take the chimera wing that ain't gonna hurt I like the little winds in here and stuff I'll take the chest too we can use some more points oh no I'm not staying around I'll take the column too 
Get away from me, I'm just stealing the columns. Don't mind me. Ouch! He charged me. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Um, alright, next quest is gonna be this away. This is such a gorgeous place, man. Really is. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more swipe for ice. While I'm not being bombarded. Alright. I should have enough like this. And as far as this goes, it's nice to be able to get some iron. Uh-oh. Alright. This time, we might be able to fight him. I want to see what these things cast, man. We're kind of low, though. On health. Yeah, let's wait. I do want to get all of this stuff, though. Got it. Oh man, sweet, sweet healing items. Ain't gonna be no good to us if we get hit while getting them. <laughs> That's alright though, the juke is real. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now that that's over, let's head to the second quest marker. I see a sign over there. Oh man, there's so much healing stuff out here. Oh, what is that? That's a little room we can stay in? We might have to do that. Also, we can use that crafting bench to make healing items with the stuff that we've already farmed. This is a good this is a good spot, man. All right. Healing creams. Oh, baby. 13 pots of healing cream. That's beautiful. Um we need a little igloo, man. We iglooed it up. Yeah, let me go ahead and sleep too. I don't you don't need to, but it'll um it'll reset the daytime. That way we won't have to worry about doing it when it gets too close to dark. And I like where this is at, so I'll just keep all the materials there. Anything I'm looking for big epic monsters <laughs> like that big troll that was there the other day. Alright. I think that's probably enough flower farming right here for now. I'm pretty confident. If I run into it or like I could sidetrack, I will. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too far off the beaten path here to get it. I can always come in and grab it anytime I want. Beautiful, man. Look at all the saplings waiting to be harvested. You can really get elaborate this scenario, man. You really can. Okay, there looks like there's another, um... Another person over there. Sledgehammer's almost broken again. Isn't that crazy? Stay away, it's too dangerous. Oh, no. How about that, suckers? He blocked it? Oh, no, he was using some sort of, um... Wow. Laser beams? Really? Really, dude? Hold on. One at a time is not that bad. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I'm glad we got all those healing items when we could. Alright. We should have this guy finished soon. Alright, he's dead. Now we can finish right here. <laughs> Cannon OP, man. Can we hit the other guy from here? No. 
You're gonna have to go a little bit to the left, which is all right by me, except that I just put the cannon away. All right, cannon. There we go, buddy. Boy, if I had two of them right now. Hopefully we could keep him at bay. Oh, he dodged that one. Either that or... Uh-uh. Oh, that's okay. Hold up. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Too bad you can't angle him. Swing at me or something. There we go. Yeah, sucker. One more, one more, one more. Done. Monsters are defeated. Look at that. And the sledgehammer fell apart. Dang it. Equipment. Dude, I go through more sledgehammers. I swear. All right. Am I still alive? Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You saved me from the monsters. My friend Baird, uh, Baird and I set off several days ago to try to trace the source of the pillar of light we saw in the distance, but we became separated as a snowstorm, and when the blizzard cleared, he was gone. You know Baird? He sent you in search to his bride-to-be? I'm afraid there must be some mistake. Baird and I are just old friends, but still, I'm most grateful for your assistance. I'm C yeah, Cecile. I can't wait to see the hideout of yours. Oh, it's more than a hideout, dear. It's a city in the sky. Alright, so we should be able to just teleport out. Tell you what, though. Let's... Grab... A couple Chimera Wings here. If we can get them from these guys. They just drop eggs, it looks like. Which is okay by me. Eggs is good. Alright, and there's so many things to do in this scenario, but from the looks of it, um, there's a few things that we're missing, so I'm thinking that we can just follow the quest line here, but I do want to check this pillar. These pillars sometimes have chests on them. And uh, it doesn't look like this one does, but I'm not going to take the chance here. There's something to craft down there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, oh, come on. I need a few more blocks here. Just to get across. Alright. Anything here? Nothing at all, man. Nothing at all. Yeah, a couple little healing items. We might as well while we're up here, but... She's down. That's alright. She'll wake up in a sec. See that? Alright. You back. Yeah, let's go to your town. Okay. I think I had enough over here. Let's uh let's use the Chimera wing. Let's get out of here. You wanna see the hideout, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the palace in the sky. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you just show up over here and you'd be like, holy cow! Alright. This place is amazing. Well, thank you, Cecile. I thought I thought everybody calls me potato face and stuff, but look what I did. <laughs> I've never seen a town like this before. Many are there are so many people here, and they're all so wonderfully burly. <laughs> Pardon? You wonder why those horrible robots were trying to get me? Oh no, it wasn't me they wanted. They wanted the most precious possession, this pretty little key. Ah, I needed a key. Which door does it unlock? I haven't the f faintest idea. I think I know. Um, I'm afraid, you see, it's really 
it isn't really mine. I found it lying in the snow. It looked ever so shiny and ever so pretty, so I just had to take it with me. What is she, a klepto? It's been the most precious possession ever since. Did he? By that greedy look in your eyes, it seems you like it too. Sorry, Zuljan, but you can't have it. It's mine. Hey, sucker, I just rescued you from the snow, and you ain't even gonna give me the key when I know where it goes? Sucker. All right, thank you, Zuljan. You have saved Cecile, my dearly beloved bride-to-be. We were traveling through Gallenholm when a terrible snowstorm stirred it up. I, I took her, wait, I took her hand in mine so that we might not be separated. Just imagine my surprise when the storm abated and I found myself in the paw of the Powi Yowie. Oh, my dear heart, my bride-to-be, how glad I am to see you again. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Cecile told you that you were just friends and nothing more? Haha, <laughs> my dear Zuljan, you know nothing of the fairer sex. My feminine, the mere feminine modesty, I assure you. <laughs> Ahem, but anyway, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing my bride-to-be. Living among these blunt and boorish muscle men have no doubt to be an up an affront to her ladylike sensibilities. But be assured that I shall defend her from those rogues to my very last breath. <laughs> Poor guy. He is, he's hopeless. All right, not only did you fail, but um, she's a gold digger, my friend. You better off without her. She won't even give me the key and I saved her life. Uh, Barbella, what are you doing tightrope walking? Barbella. Come down here. Quit being unreasonable. Nice one, Zuljan. That ice is exactly what I'm after. It's just what I needed to build Galileo's flame fighting invention and stop those rotters stealing its secrets. What? You want to know what the secret is? All right, I'll tell you. He was working on a way. Oh, he was working on a way to combine fire and ice, a way to harness the power of the elements and turn it against monsters. I was just helping him out, so I don't know how it works exactly, but it looks like the monsters want to get their grubby hands on that power too, so they can use it against us. Never mind all that now. First things first, we got to build ourselves some flame killing machines. What do you reckon, Zuljan? Think you can come up with a way to a combination of ice and iron won't snuff out the pension blighters out? Good lord, that's some words, man. Okay, she gave me some lava rocks. Good. I already had a ton, though. And now I know how to work the crack shot. Blistering bullet imbued with polar power inflicts damage on enemies. A sizz shot. Aha! Uh -huh. Burning bullets imbued with magmatic might inflicts damage on enemies. Now, what do we shoot it with? All right, Zuljan, you built any of them ice missile things you dreamt up yet? We can use them to take down those dancing flames, which will bring us another step closer to beating Magmalus. Let me tell you something, Zuljan. According to Galileo's records, when you freeze a dancing flame, it leaves behind a flame orb. And those orbs ain't ex are exactly what we need to, f to e build an even more powerful weapon. So that's what you gotta do, Zuljan. Build a load of them crack shots and fire them at dancing flames. No... You know where to find them, right? They hang out around the front of the castle when the monsters locked me up. Go over there and kick up some ruckus and bring back five flame orbs, why don't you? Okay, so we can get flame orbs now, which is really, really cool. Um, I kind of want to block this off right now before I step out. Well, it doesn't matter if I step out. It's a really, really low uh, deal. Okay, so how do we build it? How do we build it? Sis shots take iron and lava, which is pretty easy. How much do they make? 20? Let's make 40, since we have so much already. Um, and crack shots take ice and iron. It's actually really, really cheap, isn't it? I think we ought to make 60 apiece. Just so we can go buck wow. Oh, not enough materials. Oh, iron ingots? Oh, that ain't, that ain't no problem, baby. No problem. Um, well, it kind of is. Yeah, we need more iron. <laughs> Suckers. Okay. Um, let's do crack shots first. That way we'll have plenty. And... Uh, sis shots. Now, can we make any more? Yep. Oh, we got... I'm going to make 80 apiece. Well, 80 sizz, that's good. And uh, I gotta build yet another freaking um, sledgehammer with the last two iron I got. Because I'm gonna break another one, I know it will. Good lord. Alright, so how do these things work? Let's test them out. Let's put this up. 
So let's put all of this up. Okay. So take out, take out. All right. Let's just shoot one of these. Oh, so it's actually it's like a spell. I was thinking that we would need a gun. They look kind of like bullets. Huh. Well, it doesn't appear that we need bullets, but we're going to have to try these out next episode you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this one if you did give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is uljin signing off and we'll see you next time